Hey everybody, I'm just getting a link up here uh, for the stun hanger guys so they can uh, <clears throat> get on there. So we go here and we're going to go here. And we want to go here. I'm sorry, it takes me a few minutes. It has to go live before I can uh, kind of get out there. So, <clears throat> new topic. P A I. Start webcam, T-A-R-T, -T, webcam, join, C-H-A-T, clicking here, control V, okay, post. All right, so now we go to back to Google Hangouts. Control C, close. All right, I don't, uh, I don't see anybody in the. Uh, let's close out this. We want to take down the stun hanger banner as well. Banner off. Oh, there we go. And shut this down. Now I can run this uh, hangout up to eight hours. If you guys can stand it for eight hours, that would be ridiculous. So anyway, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix up some paint. I have my compressor already full up. I get my uh, mixing apparatus. Now I have to find the paint that I want to use. Here's the orange. I'll give her a shake. I want to get the uh, air flowing through here, so I'm going to open the window and turn the fan on. We don't need a hurricane going through, so it'll be just low speed, so. The noise doesn't sound too bad. I hope this camera angle is okay for you guys. It's about all I can do with the setup that I have going right now. I'm using my television as the broadcast monitor and the laptop sitting on the table over here. So, let's mix up some paint. So we remember we only want to use no more than uh, a pint of material. So 16 ounces is a quart. Eight ounces would be a pint. We need four ounces of material in here. I haven't had an orange airplane in a while. And uh, the paint job that I have picked out here should be pretty cool. So we got four ounces there. Now we got we can use four ounces more because it is a, uh, but I, I'd like to get by with as least amount of paint on this airplane as I possibly can. Remember, if you're just joining the, uh, the room, you can join the chat by clicking the link in Stunhanger. 
and turn in your webcam on and you can talk to me if, if you have to. So, you can ask questions as we go. So that's kind of cool. That's why I got it set up this way. All right, so we have that. Now you want to use, I only use Randolph products. Everybody always asks me, what am I using? Yada, yada. I only use it, uh, Randolph. Brodac is Randolph, but at a higher cost, but they do have a bigger selection of colors. So I'm using Buterate Dope, which is tauntening. And uh, it's structural adhesive. It's glue. This is 9703 thinner, very expensive. Everything is expensive. This is about $50 a gallon. So we have four there. We want to come up. It's a little over four. We want to come up a little over eight. And that's 50-50 there. We'll try spraying it there if it's too. Yeah, I, I think I'll pin it down a little bit more. That's probably 60 40 there. Because we definitely want a, a light paint job. I don't I don't want to put a lot of paint on this airplane. I've spent a lot of time making it light. I'm getting a filter now. I should have filtered it before I put it in there, but I didn't. I spent a lot of time making this light. I don't want to ruin it now by loading it up with paint. So we're getting our paint gun ready. I'm going to get a pen to stick in the hole. Uh, Got to make sure this airway is free. Sometimes I drill them out. But this gun works so good. I have white in this gun. I know I've preached about using one gun for one color. But this gun works so good. No, we don't want to go that way. So we're running about 15 pounds of pressure. You can spray at higher pressures, but basically what happens, you just get a lot of overspray and waste a lot of material. So we're trying to use it more or less like an airbrush. So I'm going to strain it into the cup here because I... Well, I know the Hangout does work because I had a guy in last night talking to me, so. so let's see if we can get this painted with uh, four ounces of paint. I'd be ecstatic. If I see a fingerprint on it, I want to get that off. Let me see, well, what, what good does that do? Well. The fingerprints, your hands have grease on them, no matter how clean your hands are, and it leaves the oil, and it's a contaminant. And I suspect that I'm going to have to uh, 
paint one coat and then doctor up and sand, fix some of the, the places that uh, are not so good. So let's give it a whirl. I do all the hidden areas first. Yep, can see a spot on the gear door that needs fixed already. one light coat and then we're going to let it tack up and uh, give it another coat. I'll turn it over and we'll do the other side. Now that's bright orange. running at 15 pounds. Notice there's not a whole lot of overspray spraying around, so that's a good thing. I really think we're going to get by with a whole lot less paint on this airplane. I don't see anybody joining the chat, but I do see a couple of viewers, so... I'm not sure how to read the, uh, the chat box if you guys are typing in a question. I, I can't see it. So that's one coat. Took about uh, took about an ounce and a half to do that. Kind of humid today, so I don't want to lay it on too thick anyway. Out of paint. So we used uh, what 
we use two ounces to paint one coat on the bottom there. That's two fluid ounces. I, I don't know what the volume or the weight is on it. But as I stated, that other all the painting I did on the other side only ended up with 0.45 ounces. So. And it was white, and it didn't cover very good. I think I'm going to like that. The next color after this will be red. And then we'll start laying the, uh, the graphics on it. You notice it's uh, kind of bagging up a little bit. That's all right. It's what it's doing. It's relaxing. Get them wheel doors. I am going to have to uh, repair that one wheel door. So. So the new people uh, coming onto my channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Help the channel grow. I need to get up to a thousand subscribers somehow. Bagged up a little bit there. That means we're getting it wet enough that it's going to stick. That's another thing about painting. When you're spraying these airplanes, you have to get it wet enough that it bonds from one layer to the next. Otherwise, when you go to tape it, it just pulls up the layer. So you notice it's wrinkling up a little bit, and that's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about the, uh, the wheel doors. It's going to be a, a minute or so uh, before I can turn it over. I don't want to start a new stream, so I'm hoping that somebody can come in here and talk to me <laughs> while I'm doing this. We got six viewers, but uh, nobody's on a webcam talking to me. Go to Stunhanger, click on that link, start your webcam. I'll let you into the room. You can talk to me right as I'm doing this. You can show me what you're doing on your end. So this is kind of a neat feature. Uh, the model train guys helped me figure it out. I showed them. I showed them Wendy's layout, and they were just they really liked it. So we got to do uh, the cow. How am I going to hold this cow while I paint it? So I guess uh, forceps somehow. I have one pair left here, but they're the shorties.
My orange cover is just as good as red. <laughs> let's hope that the uh, let's hope that I got the white taped off bad uh, good enough so that it didn't bleed into it because that's what normally happens with red. So that's the uh, first coat on the cow. I'll have to set that somewhere to dry. Should be able to turn this airplane over here in a minute or so, as soon as it's dry to the touch, and do the top. And I think that's going to take the rest of the uh, four ounces. So it's going to be a full pint, I think, to get a real good coverage on this thing. It looks real nice. It's all covered well. And that's basically because I did my job correctly before and sanded everything and got it all smooth but guaranteed there's going to be some spots that ain't going to be needed to doctor it up just the way it goes so almost dry enough to turn over it's going to have to sit on here so we'll give it a minute or so a couple minutes more and i'll turn it over and we'll do the top side and you get to see what that looks like and uh, how this works is it, it's uh, orange with red trim and uh, checkerboards this way. I, you know, I don't know. Some kind of dragon head or whatever on there. I, I can't remember. But I'm going to try to keep it pretty simple. I don't want to go too crazy like I did with the uh, Atlas. Them colors are really bizarro. <laughs> but <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh I sold the Atlas and I'm gonna have to sand off my AMA numbers, paint that purple, and uh, then clear it up and and we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully it'll look good. I told you it was either gonna be phenomenal in my mind or no good. <laughs> I definitely like this, so okay, let's turn it over and uh, we'll paint the top. I had already went over this and dusted it, you know, wiped everything down. So let's put some more paint in this so we, I think we can do it all in the last three ounces that are left. So after this is put on, it will be a half a pint that I've added to the airplane, which is not too bad. We still have no more than four ounces to go, but I really don't want to put that that much weight on it. So if I get by with a half a pint, that'd be super. I think we're still good enough on air for the first coat. Actually not. I don't have enough air in the tank. So I'm going to uh, 
mute my microphone and run the compressor. It takes a couple of minutes for the compressor to run. So we get a nice, it's kind of overspray, uh, orange peeling, and I don't want to do any orange peel on this. So I'm going to run the compressor, but I'm going to mute my mic. So give me about, well, I don't know, two, three minutes to load the, uh, pump up the compressor. All right, the uh, the compressor's done compressing, so we'll turn the mic back on and see if it doesn't spray better, which I know it will. Yes. There we go. Looks good. 
keeps bagging up, but that's okay. We got we know we got enough thinner in it that uh, that it's penetrating from one coat to the next. I think I think that, uh, I'm going to use just this paint, and that's going to be it. I don't think I'm going to go and try to mix up any more. For a more opaque finish. Because I'm trying for light, I don't... Uh, This airplane, I'd rather have light than pretty. So we'll wait a minute here and uh, a little bit of dirt there. I'm going to have to sand out, touch up. It's coming out nice. And you're probably wondering where's the flat? Well, they they get painted red, so we're not gonna double paint them. So that's four ounces of paint. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to have to mix up another another small batch, another four ounces, because just the way it is. But <clears throat> that's a half a pint. Remember, if you're watching this uh, on YouTube Live, you can uh, start your webcam, join the chat, and talk to me. So I know some guys are having problems with. I don't know, uh, they're doing it off their phone or whatever. I am going to be running the YouTube uh, live stream Monday nights at 9 o'clock. So 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And that's going to be just kind of a, a BS session. I, I'm not sure that it's going to be a... An operational video like this. So that we can get together. So get your web cameras. Make a note every night or every Monday night, nine o'clock. We'll do a As, I'm, as the tank is losing pressure, I'm having to adjust the fan.
So we're just going to be able to do one coat because I'm going to have to let it dry because I'm going to have to turn it over and set it back into my foam cradle for the bottom again. So I think this, uh, why are we not getting a good pattern? That's what I want to know. So, I'm going to clean up the gun a little bit. <clears throat> Turned out nice. Turned out real nice. Nice even, even coat. And we just wanted orange. We don't want to, I don't want to load it up with paint. So I might not do another coat. I have to kind of look at it and uh, make a determination. This is the uh, the crap thinner, gun cleaning thinner. I think the nozzle must have a little bit of dirt in it or something. It, uh, not spraying a real good pattern. There we go. Perfect. Okay, what I I'll make a suggestion to you. It's only a suggestion. What I do is I have a one, I have four gallons here, but I have a one gallon can. It's a DuPont 3608 can. It has enlarged, a large mouth, probably two and a half inches in diameter. And I use those cans as my waste. And I, four gallons I got sitting in here, I've had for, I don't know, at least 10 years. But you don't want to throw the thinner in the trash. I I don't know how I'm going to dispose of it since Mark uh, uh, closed the body shop. There's no place for me to get rid of my waste. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So let's uh, fill it back up. Give the last coat on the cow. Then we're going to probably end the uh, feed because it's going to be an hour or so waiting on the paint to dry for the next uh, coat. And I'm not sure that I'll come back for another Yeah. Now, another thing I'd like to uh, state, because I'm trying to keep this airplane light, I may come back, you know, in an hour or so, 
and we're not going to give it a complete coat of paint all over the airplane. I might mix up, instead of four ounces, two ounces, mix it into five ounces, and just do touch up on the, uh, on the bad spots, like there's a spot right here that's a little light. Things outboard wings, so it doesn't matter. I hope you guys are learning something from my channel. I know some people say they are. All I can do is uh, what I can do. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. If you're not a member of Stunhanger, join Stunhanger. Uh, a lot of guys on the uh, forum, they can uh, help you out. Uh, 24 hours a day more or less there's always somebody poster posting and always somebody on there you can send me a message you can put it in the description box or send it via private message on stunt hanger and uh i hope you guys like the show i have no feedback so i don't know i mean if there was somebody in here to talk to you i'd Leave the stream on, but uh, came out pretty good, I think, so far. I'm going to go ahead and not worry about the uh, the wheel doors. There's a little spot right there that's going to need some of that acro green and the sanding. But I'm not going to worry about those. I'll take those off and paint them separate when I do the the door blocks themselves. Looks like I got it all covered real good. And as I stated, I don't want to make this thing heavy, so. And you can see through the wing with no problem. That's a good thing. I see a little temple right there. I, I don't know whether I'm going to worry about that or not. When you're painting these things, you could nickel and dime it to death. Is this a good thing? No. Do I do it? Yeah. Everything is going to kill you, so. Got to get the paint off you somehow. Make sure to leave a comment if I'm doing something wrong. Let me turn the chat on and see if, if maybe that's it. Maybe I can't see because I don't have the chat turned on. Enter E N T E R chat here. I guess I could post a link. Control V. Enter. There you go. Now that's uh, it's posted up live. There's only three left in here. Anyway, I'm gonna, I guess, kill the stream because we got about an hour's wait time. If you if you guys want, you know I'll come back on and do another chat while we do another coat. But uh, it's just going to be the same thing, you know. I, I'll probably take some 600 sandpaper, fix it, 
fix up any of the little tiny buggers. I mean, there's a couple in here. There's a piece of dirt right here I could sand out. Depending on if it knocks off, then I won't worry about it. But you can't do it while the paint is not dry. It's almost there. Yeah, I'm going to have to sand that out. A little piece of dirt. So I'll take a piece of sandpaper, 1,200 or so, and do that piece of dirt. Here's a piece of dirt. Knock it off. And then come back and touch it up. And then we'll demask it later on this evening and get ready for the uh, for the red trim. The uh, red trim goes on the nose uh, all the way back. To the tail and the XLs in gray, and the bottom gets some red trim. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty elaborate what I got figured out, but uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to cut the feed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the channel, and tell your friends. So until I see you again, fair winds, tight lines. See ya.